What's up guys, so recently I did a interview with Attack the Back. You can check out the full interview down in the links below. And the idea of the interview was to talk about how to continue training Jiu Jitsu well into your 30s and beyond. And even if you are not 30, if you're not you know that old yet, if you're a young guy, if you take the tips I'm gonna give with you or give to you in this video or that I gave in that interview, it would be beneficial to you. Although I know that you're probably not going to because you're a young guy or a young woman and if you get something hurt, you probably bounce back, no problem. So in the interview, one of the things that I shared and what I'm gonna talk about in this video is the idea of maintenance on the body and making that a part of your schedule, right? I, I said it in different words, but the idea is that, you know, we go into the gym here and we beat our bodies down, right? I know that I've been grappling since I was 13 in some fashion. I started wrestling when I was 13. I started, you know, me and my buddy started wrestling with each other when we were 17. Uh, we would watch like MMA videos and VHSs of jiu-jitsu and we would start trying to like pick the moves apart. I started actually training jiu-jitsu with a instructor when I was 18 years old. And so while I'm only 31 years old, I've had a lot of grappling wear and tear on the body. Got a lot of mileage on this model, right? It's a newer model, but it's still a lot of mileage. And so, you know, I noticed that there was a change in my body when I was about 28. A lot of the issues that I used to have had manifested into really like big problems or just as simple things like getting up out of bed in the morning after training, I'd be like, oh my God, I'm so stiff. Right, and I, and I noticed that I started having a higher frequency of injuries that would keep, you know, ne not necessarily you know things that need to be surgically repaired, but a lot of injuries that would keep me off the mat or keep me from training 100%. And so, a few things happened, but ultimately I started going down this rabbit hole of maintenance on the body, figuring out what my issues were, what my problems were with my body, and then addressing those. And the body itself, right? Think of it this way. Your body is like a high performance vehicle when it's training, right? You're pushing your body, you know, through a lot of tough stuff. And think of your body like that race car, right? If, if, a, if you, you had a, a race car going and it blew, blew a tire, had a flat, are you going to keep going? Of course you're not. You're going to take that car, pull it over, get the tire repaired. If the engine's making weird noises, it's not running right, what are you going to do? You're going to take it to, you know, to the mechanics here on the side, see what's going on. And just like the body, you need to do proper maintenance. A lot of times your body's telling you things, right? Like, so if something starts to hurt, it's saying, hey man, I'm hurting over here. You need to figure out what that is, right? For instance, in my back, right? I, one problem that I used to have a ton of was my back would get, I, my muscles would seize up, like lock up, and it would literally be, I would be hunched over because it would hurt to straighten out. And what was happening was, and I was having a lot of shoulder issues with the, along with this, and so what was happening was my front muscles were here were so pulled forward that I'm walking around like this like rounded posture all the time, and it was creating a lot of problems back there. So therefore, I adjusted my workouts, right? I did more pulling motions and pushing motions to sort of pull my body back. Along with that, I do a lot of stretching here in the front to keep this open. And it's something that I have to continuously do. It's not something that, once it's not hurting anymore, I let go of two to three times a week. I do a lot of corrective, uh, corrective exercising, stretching. You know, I do something, right? Not just when it hurts. And this is the idea. It, it, most, of the, most of us that do jiu-jitsu, we do weightlifting, we do all this stuff. We, it's fun, right? You, you get in there and just grind it down and go after it with your buddies. It feels fun. It's amazing. It's a great experience. And then doing things like some stretching or corrective exercising, doing that kind of stuff. I'm like, eh, I don't want to do that, right? It's like the different, like jiu-jitsu's dessert. Corrective exercising, all that stuff, that's like broccoli. You know, you want cake or you want broccoli, you're probably gonna want the cake. So, with that said, make sure that, and this is my tip to you, if you're getting to a point where maybe you're starting to feel your body a little bit more, even if you're younger, if you can start this young, even better. One, when your body says rest, and you'll know when it says rest, when you're hurting, when you're feeling stiff, whatever, it's okay, right? I, I, you're gonna have that, I, I wanna go, I wanna go. I, I don't wanna like lose progress, whatever. You know, like a lot of times that's the thing, we feel like no pain, no gain. If we're hurting, we gotta keep going, we gotta keep moving forward. Take a step back and rest. I promise you that when you come back, as I've learned, right, you will come back stronger rather than taking your body when it's all dinged up and beat up and taking it into hard training and then you're just going through it again, right? Again, now if you're getting ready for a competition or something, there are exceptions, okay? Next make maintenance a part of your routine, right? Make it a part of your routine. Get massages on a regular basis. Do foam rolling, do use lacrosse balls to get out those sticky points out of your back. Make sure you're stretching in the place that they need to be stretched. Um, do some yin style yoga, something that really relaxes the body because again, we're already going hard in here. 
relax the body, right? Do some things and make it a part of your schedule, not just when it hurts, just do it all the time. Just like, again, with the race car, right? They're not gonna take that high performance vehicle and just let it run until something breaks, right? They're gonna continuously do maintenance on that thing to keep it going. So this way it can go longer, it can go faster, it can do well and it can provide a good performance for the driver, right? And it's the same thing with your body. You don't wanna wait till everything's breaking down to start this stuff. You want to make it a part of your routine and do it continuously all the time. And I promise you, for me, my standpoint, it's helped me, one, I don't have to warm up as long because I'm already feeling okay, right? I feel I don't feel all stiff and beat up. Um, it's helped me prevent injuries, especially injuries that have kept me uh, that have kept me off the mat. Like as I said before, the frequency of injuries when I was around 28 was starting to like be all the time. Whereas now they're much more infrequent. Stuff happens all the time, right? No big deal. It's just it's the way it is. But again, we want to try to you know get rid of those injuries as much as possible. So again, guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. I know it kind of rambled on with this analogy, but I hope it made sense to you. Again, you want to try to incorporate rest and you know routine maintenance into your schedule, right? Instead of just when something hurts, then you decide to get it looked at.